Hi, I'm Deb with Embroidery Library. I want to show you how to embroider freestanding Battenberg lace and make a string of bunting to add a lovely look to any room in the house. Battenberg lace is embroidered with 30 to 35 weight cotton thread and it has a soft and cozy look and feel. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. This lace bookmark was stitched with 40 weight rayon thread and you can see that it's sleeker and shinier than the Battenberg lace piece. Begin by hooping a piece of heavyweight or fibrous water-soluble stabilizer. I'm using a brand called Vylene. Make sure it's hooped firmly. Because freestanding lace is seen from both sides, I'm winding a bobbin with the same cotton thread that I'll be using in the needle. Embroider the design. Use a size 11 or 7511 sharp sewing needle, not an embroidery needle. A sharp sewing needle has a smaller, finer point than an embroidery needle, so it brings the best results when embroidering lace. This design has four color changes. For each one, I'll change the bobbin to match the color that I'm using in the top. After embroidering the design, cut most of the water-soluble stabilizer away. Soak in water to remove the rest. Air dry, then press with an iron. Use a pressing cloth. I made three of the lace pieces, and now I'll string them together to make bunting. Turn the lace pieces over so the wrong sides are facing up. Put a thin line of fabric glue along the top edge. Press the cord in place. I'm leaving about two inches of cord between each piece. After that's dry, make loops in the ends of the cord. And that looks really pretty hanging in the window. I'll show you one more use for these Battenberg lace pieces, napkin rings. Cut two pieces of ribbon about 10 inches long. Tie the ends of the ribbon to the top corners of the lace. Roll up a linen napkin, then tie the ribbon around. That looks great, and it's easy to change the thread colors to match the colors in your dining room. Thank you for watching today. For the Battenberg lace embroidery designs that you've seen here, visit our website, www.emblibrary.com.